Rocky the Rescue Crane This is a story about Rocky, a new crane who is so big that he needs an engine to pull him. Edward and Gordon thought he was no use, until they really needed his help. Edward is a really useful engine. He has worked on the Fat Controller's Railway for many years. One morning, he steamed into the docks to pick up some heavy pipes. Gordon and Thomas were already there, talking about a new crane called Rocky, who has just arrived on the island. He looks so strong, puffed, ex Thomas puffed excitedly. I'm sure he could lift even you up, Gordon. Gordon sniffed. That crane might be big, he said, but he has no engine. He can't move unless one of us pulls him. Edward looked at the new crane and saw that Gordon was right. Then I don't think he can be really useful, chuffed Edward slowly. Quite right, Edward, huffed Gordon. He will only get in the way. Just then... Percy arrived. He was very excited to see the new crane. He will only get in the way, huffed Edward. New fangled nonsense, Gordon leashed and he chuffed away. What's a new funneled nuisance, Edward, puffed Percy. New fangled nonsense, Percy, puffed Edward as grandly as he could. It's something that is new and not really useful. Edward's trucks were right by the new crane. My name's Rocky, the crane smiled at Edward. I'm Edward, puffed the blue engine. Can I come with you, asked Rocky. I could help you with those heavy pipes. I don't need your help, sniffed Edward. New fangled nonsense, and he puffed off quickly before the pipes had been properly tied down. Edward was approaching a signal. He was going too fast, but he was so busy thinking about Rocky that he didn't notice. Suddenly the signal changed to red. Edward screeched to a stop. He jolted his truck so much that the, their sides collapsed. Steel pipes toppled all over the tracks. Bust my buffers, puffed Edward. Edward looked at the heavy pipes and wondered if Rocky might help him lift them. Thomas had said the new crane was very strong. New fangled nonsense, huffed Edward. He asked his driver to telephone for Harvey instead. Soon the crane steamed up and started moving the pipes, but they were so heavy that he could only lift them one by one. This is going to take me a very long time, poor Harvey gasped. Just then, Thomas and Emily arrived. They stopped and looked at the pipes. We have to get through, tooted Thomas. Why don't you go and get Rocky? No, no, whistled Edward. Harvey is doing a fine job. We must be patient. I don't like being patient, pouted Emily. We have a very important job to do. Then they heard Gordon coming. Gordon was rushing along very fast. He tried to stop when he saw the pipes, but it was too late. He hit them with a loud crunch and came off the track. It was a terrible mess. I can't lift Gordon, sighed Harvey. He's too heavy. Edward, tooted Thomas. We need Rocky. Gordon looked up. New fangled nonsense, he sniffed. But Edward knew this was a disaster. Harvey couldn't possibly lift Gordon. There was only one thing to do. I'll go and get Rocky, Edward leashed and raced off. Edward steamed back to the docks. Rocky, we need your help, he whistled. It's an emergency. I'm ready and waiting, Edward, cried Rocky happily. So Edward buffered up to Rocky, and together they left for the junction. Everyone cheered as Edward pulled Rocky up hills and down valleys. He felt very proud to be pulling the newest arrival on Sodor. About time, too. 
Edward soon pulled up beside Gordon, bringing Rocky to help. I can fix this, promised Rocky, smiling. With his mighty crane arm, he lifted Gordon back onto the track. Gordon was very surprised. Thank you, Rocky, he huffed. Good work. Then Rocky lifted all the pipes off the rails. The job was done in no time. Gordon and Edward were very impressed. I was silly to call you newfangled nonsense, wished Edward to Rocky. You might be new, but you're also really useful. Welcome to our island. Everyone tooted and cheered for Rocky. That's my rock star. The 